you messed it up. You're stupid. And today's Daily Dose of Stupid comes from Ted Lou. And for the record, I'm not a big Candace Owen fan. Candace Owens, I don't think that she's, you know, inept or anything. I just, there's some policies where I think she goes a little too far, and she and I have a disagreement on approach. Sometimes I think that she's a little overly harsh, and she's kind of a, a fire bomber. I mean, she, she really likes to mix it up. Sometimes I find that unproductive. So I wouldn't even necessarily consider Candace Owens someone that I would say is a political ally of mine. However, I have to play this clip. As somebody especially that is interested in both politics and debate, I mean, you'll, you'll see why I'm showing it here in just a second. This is an absolute curb stomping by Candace Owen. In congressional hearings, the minority party gets to select its own witnesses. And of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist, but if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owen said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? It, it does, Mr. Liu. I know that uh, Ms. Owens distanced herself from those comments later, but we expressed great concern over the original comments. Would you like time to respond to that? Yes, um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Liu believes that black people are stupid and will not f uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness, clip. The witness absent. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. Witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. May I continue? Please. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two-hour clip. And he purposefully extracted, he cut off, and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany, when in fact, the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether I, or not I believed in nationalism, and that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut-up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. That was unbelievably dishonest, and he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and should tell you a lot about where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew, and a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem. I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. I'm deeply offended by the insinuation of, of revealing that clip without the question that was asked of me. I, I don't see how you can do any better than that. I really don't. I mean, Candace Owen, that wasn't just a counterpunch. That was a death blow. Ted Lieu, based on, you can tell by the way that he tried to frame it and the way that he ripped that, that thing out of context, he tried to take that clip out of context. He thought he had her. He thought, man, all I have to do is play this and nobody will take anything that she says seriously for the rest of the day. You can tell by the way he was handling himself. He thought he had her dead to rights. And then she just came around and didn't just counterpunch. She knocked him out in one hit. 
Holy cow. I haven't seen a takedown like that in a long time. And uh, just to give you sort of an idea from a rhetorical standpoint as somebody that studies the art of debate and political discussion, this was the best visual visualization that I could think of of what Candace Owens just did to this guy. That that guy with the gun, that was Ted Lou. He was just convinced that this was going to absolutely take her down, and boy, it did not even affect her. If anything, that was the dumbest thing that he could have done, because all that did was make him seem completely dishonest and untrustworthy, and if anything, nobody's going to be paying attention to anything that he has to say about who Candace Owen is after that. Man, uh, but let's break this down and do so with some actual context which, of course, Representative Lou completely failed to do on this point, which was his downfall. At the very least, at the very least, even if what he had said was not taken out of context, the clip that he played was not taken out of context, and she really was legitimizing Hitler, which is not even close to what was happening there. And Candace Owens made that very clear when she actually got a chance to respond to that clip. Let's just say that for the sake of argument that it wasn't taken out of context, she is actually somebody that supported Hitler or thought that he at least had some good ideas and wasn't necessarily all that bad. Let's just say that that was the case for a second. At the very least, it's still an ad hominem fallacy. But that's typically how this goes. They try to attack the person, not the argument. At this point, Candace Owen hadn't even made an argument, and he's trying to defeat it before she ever starts. He's not arguing against her ideas. He's arguing against her as a person and trying to smear her. So that was his first big mistake. And it's just so completely dishonest to lift that clip out of context and pretend that she just spontaneously was talking about Hitler and saying that he's really not that bad. This is a point of contention that I actually have with Candace Owens, something that she and I disagree on. I don't like the way that she uses the word nationalism. I disagree with her definition of it. But what she was saying in that clip is that Hitler was not a nationalist. She was saying that a nationalist puts his people above everybody else and wouldn't kill his own people. Hitler did. And that makes him not a nationalist. I disagree with the way that she's painting that. Because to Hitler, and this is the reason that I don't like nationalism as a whole, it has a racial connotation to it. Because to a nationalist, it's not just your country, it's also your race, the people of that country that are superior to everyone else. That's the reason that I don't subscribe to the idea of nationalism. Great with patriotism, love patriotism, I can get on board with America first. I think that our government's first priority should be the American people. But when we start delving into nationalism, and this is the way I always explain it to, if I'm teaching a class on this or trying to explain it to someone the way I explain it is patriotism is, yes, our country is great. Nationalism is, our country is great and every other country sucks. And it also involves an element of racial identity with that country. And so that's really the problem that you're running into. That her characterization of nationalism ignores that because Hitler wasn't killing his people. He was killing everybody that wasn't Aryan. To him, the German Jew was not German. It was just a Jew. They were interlopers in his otherwise perfect society of just Germans. See, that's the problem and that's the difference. So Candace Owens and I actually disagree on the definition here. But even though she and I disagree, I don't think that she's a Nazi. I think that she has a wrong idea about what nationalism is. But just because her idea is incorrect, in my opinion... That does not mean that I think that she subscribes to the worst parts of nationalism, the evil parts of that. I know a lot of people, in fact, Kevin Elkins, and I have had this discussion before, we've had this argument. He thought that nationalism was something that basically was indistinguishable from patriotism. He thought it was the same thing. 
And one of the things that he and I argued about, because he sees it differently than I do too, is that nationalism isn't necessarily something that's bad, but it is something that is inherently racist. It was born and conceived there. And because of it, it's a poison tree that can only bear poison fruit. It's a bad idea when it started. It continues to be a bad idea today. But I do want to point out a massive inconsistency here that I do think is very ironic. What you're seeing right now is the left and people on the right, like Candace Owens, that subscribe to nationalism, doing the same thing with different parts of Nazism. Because people on the right will say, oh, well, yeah, Hitler was a national socialist, but that wasn't real nationalism. And then you see people on the left say, well, yeah, Hitler was a national socialist, but he wasn't a real socialist. No, Hitler really was a real nationalist and a real socialist. He is one of the thought leaders that brought those two together and developed national socialism. He believed in socialist ideas, he believed in the tenets of Marx, and he also believed in the tenets of nationalism, and followed those to its logical conclusion, which led to the death of six million of his own people. So, yeah, really bad ideas. At a certain point, you have to say scoreboard and look at what the results are and see, okay, that's not a good idea, we do not need to be engaging in that. But the point is, there are a lot of well-intentioned people on both sides, by the way. There are people that think that socialism would be a good idea that are wrong, and there are people that think that nationalism would be a good idea, and they're wrong. But this trying to pretend that Hitler was not a national socialist, and that you can just pick and choose certain parts that you like and, and certain parts that you don't, and try to parse through that, no, no, no. The ideology itself is poisonous and evil, both nationalism and socialism. And the left and the right try to justify their particular part of it because they like certain little aspects of it, but they don't want to, to buy into the whole thing. If that's the case, throw the whole idea away, go with something else. Because it's very obvious that these ideas do not lead anywhere good. But it... it Really, the bottom line here, and this would be my advice to Ted Lou in the future, if you don't want to get counterpunched, just be honest about your, your, your opponent's position on this. Because you can say Candace Owens believes herself to be a nationalist and I see this to be a problem, but that doesn't mean she's a racist. She has a wrong idea, a wrong definition of nationalism. But her definition of nationalism, which again I believe is incorrect, does not include racism. And if you're going to argue with someone, argue with their ideas, not them as a person. And that's the best way to do that. If you're just honest about their position and you, you have an honest disagreement about the position that they take, then you, know, you may wind up losing that debate, but you're not going to look like an idiot and you're not going to look like a dishonest person that's trying to fight underhandedly. And that's exactly what happened to Ted Lou. The best way to avoid that, just be honest about the positions that your opponent is actually taking. Don't argue against a, a phantom idea that isn't really there or an argument that they aren't making because then you're just punching at air. And when you're punching at air, usually somebody lands a counterpoint and boy, Candace Owen did with this one. Now, I know you're here because you're interested in information on what's going on in the state of Alabama and around the world, and you've come to the right place for that. But it's YouTube, so you could also just be here because you're bored. If you want me to keep making videos to keep you occupied, you need to go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to playing Minesweeper.